is no longer considered as a major health emergency, the ghosts of the pandemic can still be seen in the form of inflation, recession and unemployment. Major big companies like Walmart as well as Alibaba have laid off at least more than 10,000 employees in the recent past. And yes guys, that's what the topic for today's video is. Hello and welcome back to my channel 5 Minutes Economics where I teach economic concepts in a span of just 5 minutes and the topic for today is types of unemployment and in this very video I'll be discussing all the types of different employment which we have seen like uh, frictional unemployment, seasonal, disguise and many more. So stay tuned guys, I'm sure you're going to learn a lot through this video and do subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram handle also known as 5 Minute Economics if you haven't already. So guys, let me briefly explain to you what exactly is unemployment. Basically, unemployment is when a person is trying to look for a job, but he is not able to find that employment. That time a person is unemployed. We also can say that it is a major economic distress in the economy if the rate of unemployment is too high. In fact, unemployment is a major economic indicator of how a country is performing or progressing. And of course, a high rate of unemployment definitely is a negative sign for an economy. So guys, firstly, let us come to frictional unemployment. What is it basically? You know, sometimes when a good is being produced, the demand for labor might rise in one place while the demand for labor might fall in another place, right? And this might actually cause a certain uh, type of frictional unemployment. Basically, when, you know, this is in the cases of oil producing uh, places. So, okay, so for example, when the demand for oil is very high, we need more workers to be employed over there, right? So the demand for people who are producing oil rises right and so the labor rises where people are producing oil but now since oil has become expensive of course driving cars is expensive the demand for the automobile industry falls people don't wish to buy a car at that time when the oil price is really high so the labor producing automobile the demand for which falls basically leads to unemployment in that sector so we are seeing that this type of unemployment is known as frictional unemployment second coming to structural unemployment basically when this arises when there is a certain mismatch between the number of people who want to work as well as the number of jobs which are available. As you can see, when we change the structure of the economy, for example, if we uh, see technological advancement happening, you know, um, years back when we see, um, let's talk about facts and, you know, if you can ask your parents and grandparents, you know, before computer came, we had so many people writing files, you know, typewriters were there, typists who used to type and all. But now, since after technology has advanced to computers, so many people lost their jobs, so many businesses shut because their work was only now that one computer could do the work of 10 manual labor. Okay, so such type of unemployment is known as structural unemployment. Might happen due to technological advancement. Also happens when an economy is progressing. So yes, this type of, um, you know, when an economy is growing, we are switching to more of capital uh, rather than uh, labor. So in that case, we face structural unemployment. Moving ahead to cyclical unemployment, basically this happens when there's fluctuation in the cycle, in the business cycle, I'm sure that all of you know this guys, that you know we have this business cycle, these fluctuations change in, in demand and supply, what happens when we are at the lowest point, you know, this is the peak and this is basically a lowest point, when we are down, of course there are many economic downturns happening, people are losing their job because of that recessionary period, we read everywhere, you know, recession is going, recession is going, people tend to lose their job. Yes, due to economic downturn and in recessionary period when people are losing their jobs, at that point of time it is known as cyclical unemployment, then voluntary unemployment as the name suggests guys, you know on their own will people are unemployed, they don't want to work, number one, rich back, very rich back, papa ne bahut paisa kamal liye, kyu kaam karna hai, relax karo ghar pe, you are voluntary unemployed that time, secondly also when you are getting, if you are working for hours and you are literally getting this much salary and whereas your cost of living is much more, you will be like, it's better you leave the job, right? So that is also known as you are quitting your job on your own with voluntary unemployment. So next guys, coming to the another type of unemployment, which is seasonal unemployment, as the name suggests, 
you know, it depends on the season, on weather changes. So at some point of time, people are unemployed. For example, you all know tourist guides, right? So tourist guides, basically, during summer months, when there are vacations, holidays, school, people, a lot of people in flux of tourists coming to a particular place, right? So tourism at that time is at peak. So at that point of time, tourist guides get a lot of jobs. But, you know, off season, literally no one's coming. Very extreme condition of cold. No one's going to come to that place. So they tend to lose their job. So seasonally, they are unemployed. Next, institutional unemployment. This is basically due to long-term institutional factors, like some of the factors might be government-related also. Like, you know, some government policies. So government obviously has strict policies at times in terms of labor. So they, if you know, they have a minimum wage flow setting. Uh, so at that point of time, you know, everyone ca cannot reach that floor or everyone cannot follow whatever, you know, this is just one example. The policy set by the government and definitely at that point of time, they are unemployed. And lastly, guys, dis guised unemployment so basically this is when you think you're working but you're not working for example you know there are five brothers who are working on a piece of land in their village and they are producing supposedly 100 units of output supposedly two brothers out of them go to the city they're like so again now three brothers are there and the output is again 100 units you know there is no fall in the output so basically it means those two brothers who went to the city were disguisedly unemployed. They were thinking they are working, but actually after, even after they were left, uh, nothing affected the output. So good only if they left to the city. So these are all the different types of unemployment, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And do let me know in the comment section below what should my next video topic be on. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video pretty soon.